Hey y'all, if you are a returning experiencer, welcome back. If this is your first experience, well come on in. My name is Hathor and this is my channel, The Hathor Experience. This is a lifestyle slash variety channel, so I'm going to give you a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and everything in between. So if you like what you see and hear today, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and press the little button so that you will be notified the next time that I post a video. So this is it. This is the fourth and final week of my self-love challenge, a challenge that I created here on YouTube to help you care for yourself unapologetically and love yourself unconditionally. I just want to take this moment to thank each and every one of you for participating in this challenge. Thank you for opening your hearts and minds to me so that I can share my experiences with ways that I helped myself on my journey to self-awareness, self-acceptance, self-discovery, and self-mastery. So whether you're just finishing it here with me or you watch this video later on down the line, thank you so much for being here. We're going to do a quick recap and then we're going to hop on into what we have in store for this week. So the first week was all about breathing, taking the time to sit still, just listen and just be. Not only is our breath our life fuel and our life force, it's also communication as well as consciousness. So we spent the first week focusing on synchronizing our thoughts with our breath so that we could not only breathe, but speak life into ourselves, remembering that breathing is a form of both giving as well as receiving both things needed for a healthy, loving relationship. Second week, it was all about getting body. Think of it as a body audit. It was all about having no judgment, just observation and exploration taking your body as is, acknowledging your kinks, learning your cracks, and getting through it. So the first week, we focused on synchronizing breath with thoughts. The second week, we were all about synchronizing breath with movement. On the third week, it was all about alignment. So we did a nice beginner-friendly Pio workout. What is Pio? Pio is a combination of mat Pilates and yoga, and it's the ultimate balance of strength and flexibility. We need to be strong physically as well as mentally, especially when doubt, worry, guilt, shame, anger, depression, fear, rears its ugly head in our minds and tries to throw us off of our game, as well as being flexible physically, as well as mentally. Being mentally willing to adapt to the situation at hand, not how it used to be, not how it could be, or would be if you just, just how it is, keeping it real with yourself and keeping it in alignment, that mind that body and spirit. So we, it was kind of like a Megatron of all of the other weeks. We combined all of the principles that we learned in the prior week and we poured them into week three. So here we are on week four, the fourth and final week. And this week is all about dancing, dancing, dancing. Doom, doom, doom. Yes, we are going to dance because dancing is another way that I love, love, love to care for myself. So we are going to do a quick little Afro belly dance class. Afro belly dance is just a format that I developed from my experience with both African as well as belly dance. 
I've tried all kinds of modalities, dance, ballet, contemporary, modern, lyrical. Uh, I've tried so much. But I truly feel that belly, both belly dance and especially African dance, it was more about how the music moved through your spirit. It was more about how the music made you feel than what you looked like doing the dance. And for me, that was perfect because there's not this box that you have to fit into to express yourself. And that's what dance is all about, expressing yourself, embodying that awareness that you gained, gathering that understanding of yourself, what you've learned, and then putting it all together to celebrate yourself, celebrate who you are, celebrate life. Because even if things are hard for you right now or they've been difficult for you before, you are still breathing. You still got this. All you gotta do for this week is dance. So it's all about expression. You can wear whatever you like for this dance party. Yes, we are gonna have a dance party. Get into something comfortable yet cute. I know that you've been in the house this whole time, but if you want to kind of jump fresh a little bit, you know, put a little razzle-dazzle, a little salt bay spice on yourself and look good while you're doing this dance, that is all good too. I just want you to enjoy yourself. Let go of any heavy energy, any heavy burdens, anything that's weighed on your mind. Free yourself and just move. I'll meet you on the dance floor. All right, making sure that we're nice and grounded. Don't forget to breathe. We're gonna try to do four sets of every exercise. Let's start by taking our chin to the ceiling and to our chest. Very good. Next, we're going to swing our chin from shoulder to shoulder, loosening up that neck. Center it out, taking our gaze from left, center, right. One to the shoulder. Three, two, one. That's four. Switch sides. Two, three, four. Same time. Get nice and loose. Feeling that rhythm. Very nice. Going up. So do whatever works for you. Maybe it's a shimmy. I like the shimmy. Serve it, serve it, serve it, serve it. One, two, three, four. Other side. Two, three, four. Lift those knees up. Here we go. It's a pop, it's a pop. 
jump at the end. Here we go. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. Or one, two, three, leg. If you can't quite get that jump off the ground, let's do it. Two more. One, and two. One, two, one, two. That's single, single, double, double, single, single, double, double. Doesn't matter how you look. Notice how you feel. South side, south side. A single, single, double, double, single, single, double, double. Air, really nice. Keep smiling, keep moving, and it is time for belly dance. All right, we're gonna start with our hands, flexing those palms. Stretching out our wrists, moving the arms, feeling the music. Now, right, pinkies out first. We're going to take our wrist around and back forward. Let's do it again. Now, let's switch. Pointer finger is going to lead the way. And one more time. Very nice. Now, think wrist, hand, knuckles, fingers, wrist. Hand knuckles and fingers. Now we're going to move it in a fluid motion like we're touching the cat, domestic, or wild. It's up to you. Take it all the way up, 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 and down, down, down. Let's do the other side. Cutting that cat again. The cat or domestic. Mm, yeah. Let's take it to the side. Side, side, and lower it down. Now, pinky leading the way. Let's get back to those wrist rotations. Let's bring it up, up, up. Palms together. Let's stretch out the neck. Taking it side to side. As we take it down, our pointer fingers are going to lead the way, reversing it. All the way down. Complete the move. Now let's go to chest side. Sliding side. To side. Try your best to keep it in your rib cage and not your shoulders. Now let's lift and lower. Think of it kind of like having the hiccups. Lift the chest and lower. Now we're going in a circle, side, up, side, down. Let's round it out, taking that hand in for a little more or leaving them both out for a little less. Let's take it to the other side. Perfect. Side, lift, side down and we're going to round it out on the other side trying your best to keep it all in your chest focus focus all right taking those hips from side to side stretching them out making sure that you're feeling a nice stretch in your hip as you do this let's speed it up just a little bit let's go ahead and take it back and forth Stretching out the lower back, stretching out the pelvis, getting ready for our big circles. So what we're going to do is take those hands up and out. If you want more, your head can follow your hips. Very good. Taking it side, forward, side, back. Now let's smooth it out, making full circles here. And if you want more, you can whip that hair, take it on down, give it a little extra, and let's take it to the other side. Four. Side and back. Very good. Side. Four. Taking that head with you, if that's all you need. Of course, we're going to round it on out. Remember, you can keep moving your head, or you can take it on down and around let's do it one more time down and around bringing it on up all right lift slide drop lift slide drop going for those figure eights kind of like kneading though now hip ticks lift drop lift drop lift drop Nice, and if you want levels, you can take it up and down, up and down. Let's move on, half circle, side to side, swing and swing. Nice, let's add a step together, 
step together. Notice my head is following my body. Let's double it up. Very good. Other side. You can keep your arms like this or take that arm with you along for the ride. Take it to the other side. Nice. Now we're taking it front and back, front and back. And it's pulling it around, pulling it on in. Yes, other side now. Front, back, front, back, front, back. Now the circle, take it back, up and around. Thank you. I hope you enjoy this quick dance workout. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Bye.